So is this artificial intelligence? This is a question that comes up a lot. And in some sense it is. It's not really artificial intelligence per se, but a lot of ideas related to AI, the concepts of self-awareness, um, self-consciousness, being able to analyze yourself and come up with the notion of an I, those were things that were bouncing around our heads when we were putting together the ideas behind the cell matrix. So certainly the idea that if we wanted to build an artificial system that somehow acted as if it were intelligence, we would like to have the ability for it to introspect, for it to um, look at itself and somehow reflect on itself, hopefully leading in some ill-defined way to some kind of self-awareness or self-consciousness. That was part of what went into our decision to try to make this, this hardware platform that could modify itself and analyze itself. So this was in the mix when we were coming up with the idea for a cell matrix and defining the architecture, but, um, but it's not geared towards AI per se, and there's nothing AI-ish about the architecture itself. Nonetheless, some research has been done by, um, by a number of different people into application of the cell matrix towards different AI projects. For example, um, a few people have looked at um, implementing neural networks on top of a collection of cell matrix cells. And that's a very straightforward thing to do. And there are different ways you can take advantage of the self-configurability to um, create a neural network that is somehow adaptive. And there's hope that maybe doing that will get you closer to some kind of intelligent-like behavior. The idea of simply being able to store a huge amount of data, terabytes, um, or um, or much larger than that in a small space and access that with some sort of local processing, so putting CPUs and memory close to each other um, to the point where the number of processors is on par with the number of pieces of data that you have. That's another idea that some people find attractive in terms of, of moving towards some kind of AI type platform and that's something that's directly supported by the cell matrix because there's no separate memory versus processor. Everything is made out of cells so you can certainly create processors and memories and put them next to each other and replicate that throughout the matrix. So um, the short answer is no, not really. It's not AI, but there's certainly a lot of crossover between some of the ideas behind artificial intelligence and some of the ideas of the cell matrix.